putting in a new light. All right, picked up this light here on Amazon. Looks like this mounts, you've got that piece, cage goes on, that goes on, hold the cage on, and then you put your bulb in. Got some of these antique bulbs here, these LEDs, so these are supposed to be pretty good. So these are all your parts. Okay. So this is your ground wire. Hot and neutral. You screw this piece off. And that's how your cage sits up there. So first thing we're gonna do is check this. And what you're gonna to need to do this, you can have a, either a, a little tick tester like this. This is an AC voltage detector, or you can put a multimeter on it. So what we're looking at is you're basically confirming. So this is saying there's power on it. The first thing we're gonna do is make sure that we have the power off here. So you wanna find your breaker and turn the power off. All right, so with the breaker off, you can see here, there's no power. Come up here, also no power. Now, this is very easy. You're gonna connect black to black. Like that. And you just push these on and twist them clockwise like you're tightening up a screw. Now, white to white, push them on, tighten them up. All right, so I went ahead and took this old mount out. I put the new mount in here, as y'all can see. Got the new mount on with the screws that came with it that are the right size for this. And I went ahead and wired it up and flipped the breaker back on and through the antique bulb and see so y'all can see it. I always like to do that just to check it and make sure that there is power. So I'm flipping the switch on, you can see we got light. So that's a good thing, right? So now we'll flip the breaker back off, so no power, and we'll finish mounting that up there. You have your ground wire here that you can see right here. It says GND on there and that's that green screw. Your green is always your ground. So we're gonna take our Phillips head screwdriver and you're gonna loosen this. You don't have to take it all the way out, but you wanna loosen it enough so that you can put your wire around it. And you just wrap it like that. So as long as it's connected, it's grounded. And then you simply tighten that screw up and that just holds it tight to that mountain plate. Just tuck your wires in under the cover. Line your screws up with the base and with your decorative screw caps. You just pop these on. So there's one. And then your second one goes on. And tighten those up so it's nice and snug. This piece goes up, you have to take the bulb out and you put this up, then you take this piece and you tighten it. And this, this holds your base here. So when you do your bulb changes, you just unscrew your bulb and screw a new one in and you don't have to actually take, take this whole cage off. You know, screw this nice bulb. And like I said, these are the, uh, it's a decorative bulb. It's a LED, but it's called an Edison bulb. So you pop this piece up here, just like that. Okay, so that goes up and this piece is gonna go over. Now, your fixture is mounted. Everything looks good around the sides. You can screw your bulb in now. So you just kinda gotta reach up inside this cage. This is a little decorative fixture and Tighten that up. Moment of truth. There you go. So, and with this light, it's actually pretty cool. The, the shadow it casts, if you can see, it's almost like a star. It kind of comes around it. So my wife liked that. So it's one of the reasons we went with this light because she liked the way it looked. 
but that's it. And of course you could change, change the bulb if you wanted a different bulb in it, if you wanted a, a white bulb or something with a different color temperature, but that's just the bulb that, that I went with because I think it looks, looks good and mm -hmm. antique and old timey. And that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I'm Kevin Reese. If you have any questions about the installation, go ahead and drop a comment. I'll be glad to answer them for you as soon as I can. I'd appreciate a like and a subscription. I'll see you on the next video.